All right, now, next we have Tom Wilson. This guy, not only is he a great painter, but he's also a comedian. He was in Back to the Future, he played Biff, he's been in lots of sitcoms. This is a treat. And it's got a pop art style? Oh my God, wait till you see it. Let's go. Let's go. Tom Wilson, how are you? Hi, I'm Tom Wilson and I'm an artist. I've studied, uh, I haven't studied anywhere. I can't do it. No, I studied, I got props. I got, uh, I studied at the Art Academy of Los Angeles, California Art Institute. Studied privately with the painters Rene Amatai, uh, Arthur Egeli, and uh, they all threw me out because I stunk. But here I am, painting. I'm also an actor. As some people know, I, you know, I played uh, Lorraine, uh, Marty McFly's mother in the Back to the Future movies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I didn't. I, I played, uh, I played Biff, the bad guy in all those Back to the Future movies, and I've been a, you know, uh, recurring regular guy on the shows Ed on NBC. Thanks. On uh, Freaks and Geeks, on many, many television shows. But really, what I'm all about is the art. The art is what I call big pop fun because it's it's that. I mean, it's big. I do relatively big canvases, but really they're big ideas, big color, unapologetically pop, uh, and they're f just fun paintings. I played with all these toys when I was a kid. These are these are kind of baby boom iconic pop toys. So th these paintings, really, if I was to be honest, these paintings work on two levels. They work at, at, as pop art, as iconic, nostalgic memories for people of going, oh my gosh, the you know, electric football. I played electric football or the Viewmaster. It's about like, wouldn't it be great to 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 take this gigantic Viewmaster and just look into it? And remember all those pictures that are already in your head. You know, it's, it's a painting about the pictures that are in your head. Secondly, I'm a pop icon myself. People look at me in airports and go, hey, that guy, hey, honey, come here, it's that guy. The big, you know, hello, anybody home, hello. And, and then they have to come up to me and go, you know, I was in ninth grade and my dad took us in this Ford LTD station wagon to see that movie. And so there's, there's a connection there, which is through popular culture. Pop culture is so powerful that I thought, you know, this would be in a way my answer to being a pop icon myself. Paint paintings of ray guns, view masters, electric football, GI Joe, all kinds of stuff and get the same reaction that I get at an airport. Just, Hey, G.I. Joe, hey, I had a G.I. Joe, it's, you know, and, and they do, so it's kind of mission accomplished. I'll go, you know, I have a showing at a gallery or something, and it's like the Mohawk kids with the nose ring, you know, coming up and you think, well, this is a little, I don't know, a little baby boomer for them. They're like, man, your stuff is like blowing me away, man. That's like the biggest view mass drive I've ever seen, dude. What a teacher told me, I, th I think a very valuable piece of advice, uh, well, especially for painting, is a great painting is not about the subject of the painting. It's about how light hits that subject. I have endless lists of stuff that I'm going to paint. And the funny thing is that when people see these paintings and they see one and then two and then five and then I start showing them, hey, hey, how about number 15? And then they go, 
hey, you know what you could paint, you know, and then they go off into it. I don't even have to think of stuff. People go, hey, uh, slot cars. Hey, how about that magic eight ball that you used to shake and get the answers? Oh, you know, Barbies. Hey, Chatty Cathy, how about that? Remember creepy crawlers that you used to do? So people go crazy and they start just supplying me with so many ideas. And I literally, I'm taking out a pencil, going, creepy crawlers, Chatty Cathy. That's a good idea because, um, you know, I, I think it's fun stuff. Now, how long will it take you to finish this dump truck? I don't think that's any of your business, Mike. Why don't you I just, just back off? I crossed the line just there. I can finish this dump truck in three sessions of two hours each. It depends. When I feel like, you know, you're playing with it and you're playing with the colors and this is right and that is right. And then somehow, for me, the whole painting like takes this turn, like it's close to being finished. It's not there, but it's close. Then you really start working. To me. Then it stops playing around. Oh, is that red right? And that then you start. I'm in the zone now. Okay. Highlights. Where the light hit. Boom. There. Yes. Oh, you're good. Boom, boom, boom. Then you Oh, I got it, baby. Hello, dump truck. Yes. It looks realistic. Give it five, self. Yes. And then you just go, nobody's here. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, but it, when it does turn the corner, you think, oh, it's starting to really look good now you know and then it's and then it's really exciting that's great and you know finish it up sign it and um next next painting you know